This is Simon from the Occupy News Network. Outside the XL Exhibition Centre, where four activists are now dangling from a bridge. Why have we done this? Why have we done this? Because the arms trade is evil and it needs to stop. And we should not be selling weapons to dictators like Saudi Arabia and Israel and Indonesia and Turkey. And yeah, this is the little bit we can do. Well done. And how long do you intend to stay there if you're able? Well, as long as I can hold out. <laughs> so there's a lorry attempting to uh, deliver a kit which now has to stop as the four activists are dangling from the bridge. The reason they're doing this is to prevent the flow of military equipment and other logistical equipment which would be taken into the EXO Exhibition Centre to establish the world's largest arms fair. So today outside the EXO Exhibition Centre is the No Faith in War Day where members of different religious groups have come together, so the Quakers, Christians, um, honestly, all religious denom denominations have come together to declare that war is not in the interest of their beliefs. And that the sale of weapons does not support the belief system they, they hold. Whilst we have the eastern end of the Excel Centre blocked off, there are activists at the western end also doing blockades. We were there earlier this morning. And the action is effective because it means that for all the trucks that aren't being delivered, that's their delivery slot taken, or we end up bunching vehicles together that have to come in all at once. It makes it a lot harder for them to unload, to prepare for the carnival of weaponry, which will happen next week. That's a great message there. So if you're watching this later on video or watching live now, uh, we are here all week. The week of action is leading up to the DSEI Arms Fair next week. You can see the effective actions we're taking. No military equipment is being delivered. So you can come and join us. We are camped at the eastern end of the Excel Centre. So the nearest DLR is Prince Regent DLR. You can come down any time of day. So just come and spend some time or join one of the different themed days. So we'll come back here in a second. We'll take you back up to the uh, back up further up the hill. So during the day today, on this No Faith in War Day, we've had many religious groups come together. Um, there's no one demographic that comes to the Stop the Arms Fair week, uh, but today we've seen a lot of um, more senior members of the movement come and peacefully line the road. We've seen a number of uh, people being arrested. Yesterday, in fact, a 70-year-old lady uh, reverend, Reverend Enid, uh, was arrested. Um, what's remarkable about this movement is that it's not just females, not just males, it's not just one age group or one, one motivation to come and oppose war. It's a, a wide-ranging motivation. I won't go all the way up, but further up the hill, just around the bend, we have maybe 80 people maybe slightly less, 70, 80 people, uh, holding a uh, religious conference, I think in the road. I imagine the police are not bothering now, seeing as the road is blocked by the bridge swingers. And down here we see our four activists with the uh, police on top. They're dangling from rope ladders over the bridge and they're blocking all traffic further up the hill behind them. You may just be able to see the uh, police vehicles that are stopping traffic coming down. The Excel Exhibition Centre only has two entrances. The west and east, we're on the eastern end. We have more activists that are working at the western end to slow down, impede, harass the delivery of equipment into the world's largest arms fair. 